Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lily and today we are going to be playing with the new Glaminatrix Belly Basic Palette. This might be my favorite palette they've done. It might be. It is absolutely stunning. Wait till you see it. Uh, you know I've done in-depth swatches for you guys and we're going to do four looks with the palette. So hopefully all of that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the youtube things like subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Super quickly, uh, I will have the palette linked down below in the description box for you guys. The link is affiliated so thank you so much if you use it. I also have a code which is Martina Lily, and that will also be in the description box. Um, which gives you 10% off your order with Glaminatrix. This is not sponsored by them, but I did get the palette in PR, just FYI. Uh, this palette is stunning. Mine's all um, dirty looking because I have swatched it already. You'll see it untouched shortly, but it is absolutely gorgeous. These shades, <laughs> chef's kiss. They have outdone themselves. I haven't used it yet though, so we'll see how it goes on the eyes. I do not know the palette, uh, sorry, the price of this palette yet because I am getting this in PR and those details haven't been released. So all of those details, as long, along with the release date, which if I've got this time correctly, it should either be already live or going live very shortly. Um, is in the description box. So if you want to know how you can get your hands on this palette, check out the description box. And uh, let's just go ahead and swipe into swatches because I know that's what you really want to see.
you guys are zoomed in nice and close, 4K, no filters. I mean, the swatches, the swatches were stunning, right? These shades are gorgeous. Uh, don't mind this little friend right here. Um, it's actually my fault. I, I'm going to prime with my Sigma eye primer, by the way. I didn't wear makeup to work on Thursday and uh, like, cause I was working from home and I just didn't get time to put any on between going to the gym and my meeting starting. And I sillyly didn't do that because, and it was silly of me, sorry, because I always rest my head in my hands, really, really bad habit. And when I do that, wearing makeup is, is better because it creates a barrier. And so I obviously, you know, you shouldn't touch your face with your hands because of this exact reason. That's exactly what it's wrong because it popped up straight away. So that's been fun. Lesson learned. Reminder. <laughs> we're going to do a look with each one of the rows so I can showcase them. So this look, we're going to start with this row because I can't help myself. It's my favorite row, I think. Although it is tied pretty. It's actually in order. This first, this second, this third, this fourth. So there you go. I'm going to start with Girl Dinner and a BK... What do we got here? Oh, I think, oh, 201. <laughs> I'm just gonna lightly just fluff this through the crease just softly. Nothing too crazy. Just to kind of lay down a little bit of a lighter shade. You don't need to do this if you don't wish to. I just think this palette is so gorgeous. You have like your, you know, cool tone look, a, a grungy look if you want it, a warm tone look, and then a pinky purpley look. I just think they've nailed it. Like you just could honestly pretty much just have this palette if you don't wear a lot of colors and off you go. I'm going to take a Ray Morris 7 and I'm going to take a little bit of Cher right here, which is my favorite matte shade in here because it just looks like this perfect cool tony color. And I'm going to start just by wiggling it. Starting with a small amount because I'm not sure how deep this is. So I don't like that brush for that. Um, I'm going to switch to a rougher 27. I think that might be a little bit it's less pointed for my initial, yeah, there we go, for the initial crease color. And let's just see how pigmented this is. Mm, that's pretty. I like that. Now, if this is too deep for you, you could mix these two together. So let me show you. I'll mix a little bit of Girl Dinner and Cher together and it's just going to make it a little bit softer. So one of the good things about like these kinds of shades, especially with Lemonatrix, is they kind of design their mattes so that you can like mix them together a little bit and create different shades, which is cool. That's pretty. And then I'm going to tap Cher on the outer corner here. There are timestamps on this video, by the way, in case you just want to see certain parts. Mm, that's really pretty. Uh, I'm just going to take that BK original brush and mix the Girl Dinner and Cher shade together again, but more of Girl Dinner than Cher. And I'll just use that to lightly blend out here. Mm, very pretty. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. So we've got that first shade all blended out and it went lovely and I really like that shade. Now we're gonna take Looks, which is the dark brown and this is a Refa 14. And I'm just going to deepen slightly. For my skin tone, I don't really need to deepen much. That Cher shade went pretty deep, but I will, cause I want to. <laughs> but if you're like, oh, that's looking too deep for me, I would stop with Cher. It depends on your skin tone. This is that Refa 27. It's got no additional color on it. And I'll just softly blend here. I think that looks really nice. Happy days. That Laminatrix formula you know and love. Now I'm absolutely using intensifiers because these are a more glitter type shadow. Not like um, chunky glitter or anything like that, but they will have a little bit of fallout, which I want to minimize and extend the wear time. So I'm going to take my intensify stick and just apply that on both eyes 
you could wet your brush, use concealer, use another glitter glue, whatever you like. But I do recommend laying down something because um, they are going to be a little bit, um, have a little bit of fallout at least to apply. And then we got to take follow. You know we got to take follow. This is an MY24 flat brush. It might actually apply better with my fingers, but we'll try it with a brush. Let's see. Mm. So if you want a more sheer application, apply with a brush. Because see how that's like not super opaque? And then I bet you if I take it on my finger, yep, and press and tap. See how intense that is? Oh yeah, that's what I want. So if you want it to be slightly less opaque, use a brush. If you want it to be intense, use your finger. Look at that is oh, stop it, laminate tricks. That's amazing. I want to bathe in this shade. This is my kind of a shade. Now you'll notice I'm leaving the inner corner intentionally free there, or like the very inner part here, that's intentional. And then I'll just use the flat brush to kind of just do that. And then this is that Refa 27 with no extra color. Just blend there. Oh wow, that shadow is gorgeous. Oh, you need to stop right now. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take DIY here on a What's Up R110. So we're gonna see how it goes with the brush first, cause yeah, that's fine with the brush. Look at that. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool shade, I really like that. Wow. <laughs> it might look kind of crazy now. Just trust the process, okay? Trust the process. All right, I'm just taking looks, um, which is that dark brown on that Rev 14, and just lightly marrying in here. That is so stunning. It makes me angry. I am so excited by that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Let me go and do the speed through my base makeup now. You kind of know the drill if you've watched one of these videos before. Um, if not, if you're new here, welcome, but you'll get the drill after watching this. And then we will come back and finish the look.
so we have up to bronzer and brows done we're gonna finish this lower lash line and the eyes so I think it's all really looking nice what do you guys think uh, Sigma E36 and we're gonna go into a small amount of shake just very softly from that underneath here And then I just have a little pencil brush and I'm going to go into looks, which is the dark brown, and I'll just lightly smudge that here. And I'll just take a really small amount. I think I'm just going to actually put Girl Dinner on the inner corner here. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put Bobbi Brown Jungle on my top waterline and Contour Claire from Chanel on my lower waterline for eyeliner. I'm just gonna take a touch of my Gucci mascara because I'm really just trying to finish this up. So that's the eyes finished. Oh, I just think they're so Pretty. Now, if this is too deep and smoky for you and you wanted to make this like softer, I would use leggings. So instead of using shake, you could use leggings as your transition shade and then obviously go as deep as you like with the other shades and it will be a lot softer. But I think for like a smoky glam kind of look, I'm into that. Okay, let's do highlight. I'm just going to take a really small amount of my Lancome because I don't want to accentuate any of this breakout on this side, so I'm just going to lightly do that. <laughs> For cream blush, I'm going to take Pat Alluring Nude. So I just kind of like draw it on the back here, like so. And then take my A507 from BK. And then to set that, I'm just going to take shade number 10 from Giorgio Armani with my Smashbox cheek brush. Oh, those two pair so beautifully together. I'm just going to take some setting spray. This is the Vive one. And I'm actually going to spray it directly on my face because my skin's feeling a little dry. Normally I wouldn't. Normally I would spray it with my sponge. And if you have oily skin, that's what I definitely recommend. And I just lightly press it in with my sponge. When I say I'm lightly pressing, I'm lightly. But yeah, my skin's feeling a bit dehydrated today. So I just want a little bit extra. Lips, we're gonna do the Natasha Denona My Dream Lips. Still one of my all time favorite lip combos. Let me go fix my hair and we will zoom out and see look one. All right, my friends, finish look one. What do you think? I love it so much. These shadows are incredible. I already am obsessed. These metallics, my goodness. I'm, I am so happy. All right, this is look one. Let's go ahead and do look two. Welcome to look number two. It is the next day and when I tell you I am in a rush, I'm in a rush, but I really want to create this look. Um, I am actually going, I'm working today, but I'm driving down to the Gold Coast because I am watching my mom's pets for the day, bless her. She has like the cutest little puppy and cat. So I was like, you know what? I can work from anywhere. Let me come help you out. But I am, uh, I'm running late. I'm not running late. I don't have to be there by time, but I just want to miss traffic. I'm going to take my Danessa eye primer today. This is a Tarte brush that I got in like 2016, honestly. Um, yeah, so I like to tell you guys usually what I'm doing for the day when I'm doing makeup looks so that you guys can kind of know exactly what I'm getting ready for and like the scenario that I use or like that I'm wearing the look for, I guess, um, in case you're interested and need inspo or just want to know. Maybe you don't, and that's also fine. <laughs> so I'm going to use this row. I think I said yesterday that I was going to do like one, two, three, four in order, but we're not. We're going to do this one today because I don't want anything too crazy. I'm literally just sitting at home watching some pets. So I want something cute, but not crazy. I mean, I say crazy. The looks aren't crazy, but I just, I softer. I want a softer look. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to start with this Danessa Myricks uh, MY19. Danessa Cross My Kit Coat. 
Um, and I'm going to go into leggings naturally. Actually, I'm not going to start with that brush. Apologies. I'm actually going to start with an angled brush. This is the 765 Delium Tools one. And I'm going to go into leggings. And I'm going to do a little halo eye today because I haven't done one of them in a while. Leggings is a really nice one and done shade um, in this palette. I really like this palette. I love the colors in here. There's so many options. There's so many like so many of these shades for all different skin tones would be beautiful one and dones. And they're just oh, you can mix and match. Oh, I just I think I really think Kayla has just Kayla's the owner of Glaminatrix, by the way. Um, I just think she has absolutely outdone herself with this palette because it's so good. Now I'm going to take that to Nessa MY19 and same shade. I like to connect my halo a little bit just because of my hooded eyes, but you don't have to. So I will build it up in the inner and outer corner more so. Just a slight little fluff here. This shade's really nice. I like it. I thought I'd show you guys as well today how you can create a simple fuss free look. You don't have to go full glam, you know, if you don't want to. But we all know I love a full glam. Okay, this is an MY30 and I'm going to take a... I'm actually going to mix a small amount. I'm going to mainly use like and I'm going to mix the smallest amount of Holy Grail. I just want to deepen the outer corner and the inner corner a little bit to add a little bit of dimension, but I don't want it to be like too deep, you know? And then just taking that Danessa one to kind of just blend a little bit more. And the reason why I'm taking the Danessa one is because I don't want to keep adding to the depth. I just wanted to add a little color and then I'm going to use that lighter one to blend it out so that it's not continuing to go deep. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does in my head. I'm filming this very early and I haven't had enough coffee to start the day, if you're wondering. <laughs> I always find it challenging because these are two very different shaped eyes, <laughs> which is totally fine. I don't mind that. I just find it challenging because they always look slightly different <laughs> to each other. That's okay. That's okay. All right. We're going to leave that there for a second. If we want to add more, we can in a minute, but naturally intensifies just in the center where I'm going to put the halo. I'm going to take a Sonia G Builder Pro. Builder Pro? Yeah go into a small amount of hashtag. I'm using the brush because I don't want this to be too opaque. So yesterday in the look, I said, if you want to go crazy, like not crazy opaque, I'm using the word crazy in the wrong context today. If you want to go more opaque, um, use your finger, but I don't want to be too opaque today. So see how that's a lot thinner of an application than yesterday's. It's more like a fairy dusting. And I didn't tap the excess shadow off my brush. That's why I'm getting all of that. <laughs> See that? Very pretty. Now, if you wanted to make this opaque, use your finger. I like it when shadows are like this as well, because it means that also I don't like to create, sorry, a structured halo. I like to kind of fairy dust it up if you're new here, but you can create a structured one if you like, like with a cut crease here. Um, I like when those shadows are able to be like to apply differently with different techniques because it means that you're getting a lot of versatility with the shadow. So if I want to go, you know, full opaque and molten metallic, then I can use my finger. If I want to do a fairy dusting, I can use the brush. And I love that I can have that versatility. It just means the palette can be worn in a lot of different ways, which I really like. And then I'm going to take this MY36 now, which is a smaller flat brush, and I'm going to go into OOTD. I like that she's made all the names kind of popular social media kind of terms. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this straight through the center of the halo to add a pop. Oh, that's cool. That is really shifty and I love that. These um, top row of shadows are like the Cleona white shadows. If you're wondering if you've ever tried them or if you want to wanted to try them, these are literally exactly the same, if not maybe slightly more shifty. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. I love that so much. Okay, 
that is I love the sparkle but it's not, not too intense Oof. going into that mixture of like and holy grail I'm just gonna lightly tap to marry soften any edges Perfect. So we're going to do the speed through of my base makeup now. Normally I do my highlight and my blush with you guys, but I am, because I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm going to speed through all the way up till that point and we'll do the lower lash line and the lips together today. So, uh, let's do it. So we have done everything up until like brows and highlight and blush and everything. So we just have the lower lash line and lips left. By the way, how it goes, because I can't fit all of the products that I use for each look in the description box. So it'll say all of the products I used in like look one, look two, look three, look four. There'll be a link if you click on that. It will take you to my shop, my page, and it will show you every single product that I used in each look. Um, so we're going to take leggings with a Sigma E36, run that underneath the lower lash line. I have not put an eyeliner on my top waterline. I don't feel like it today, but I have put the Victoria Beckham eye brightener in my lower waterline, if you're wondering. Just a little pencil brush. I'm going to mix the like and holy grail shades and just also do this very softly. And then I'm actually just going to take girl dinner for my inner corner again. This is Sonia G pencil brush. So I don't want a glittery in a corner, personally. Obviously you can, I just don't, I don't love that vibe. And then just a little bit of the Gucci mascara to finish the look. I don't recommend this from mascara really, to be honest. It's too expensive for it to not be so ra like rave worthy. I'm just trying to use it up. I think they look really pretty. For lips, we're gonna take Glaminatrix Agile Lip Liner, which their lip products are so underrated, by the way. And then I'm gonna take their Joyful Lipstick, and these are quite opaque, so I'm not gonna put too, too much on. Because I don't want it to be like too intense, even though that's still, still is. And then, Clay de Peau Makara Gloss. All right, let me go figure out hair and stuff and we will zoom out and you can see the finished look too. All right, my friends, finished look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I really like how soft this has come out and it's not, it's like that kind of 
smoky purple that I really like. So yeah, and I just love how pretty this Stardust game looks through here. Ooh. I said all the time, but it's the camera's not going to do it justice, truly. All right, that is look number two. Let's go ahead and do look number three. Look number three. Uh, again, filming this early before work. And today we, we're using the greens today and the olives because these are some of my favorite shades in this palette naturally. Uh, I have primed my lids already using my NARS Eye Primer FYI. I'm going to start with a Refer 16 and go into Scrunchy, which is, I think, maybe my favorite matte. This and Cher in this palette. I just, you know I'm a sucker for a olivey green. And I'm going to start by wiggling... Starting small with a small amount of pigment because these, you know, Glaminatrix is our pigmented friends, which is a good thing, but just start small. And I'm going to start by working this into the outer corner and kind of blowing it up in the outer corner a little bit. And I just kind of like, that's what I like about the refer brushes is they're tapered and I just push the tapered end in here and kind of just wiggle around, give it a bit of a squiggle. And then whatever's left over on my brush, I'll just bring that forward a little bit softly. I've done something to this eye and it's really like kind of almost sore and dry today. So if the shadows on this eye don't sit right, it's because of my eye. I don't know what it is. Also, if you can hear background noise, my little kitty cat has gone exploring in the room. <laughs> I love this shade. This is a one and done for me. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love that. All right, tucking this into the outer corner as well. Careful, Ralphie. I'll see if I can grab him on camera to show you guys a Ralphie cam. You guys always ask for a Ralphie cam. Don't judge my mess of a room. Ralphie, careful. Ralphie, what are you doing? Oh, this shade is so pretty. This is a one and done with like Bobbi Brown Jungle Liner smudged along it or winged out. Oh. And if you really wanted to go glam, deep, deep brown lip or a deep kind of vampy like burgundy red lip. Oh, that would look really nice, especially in like winter. I mean, it's winter here, so for us, yes, but like for my American friends or my UK Europe friends as well. Actually, it would be fun. Let me know what country you're from if you feel comfortable and what you think your makeup style is in the comments for your country. It might be fun to do a little video series of me like doing my interpretation of other countries' makeup looks. I know it's, it, that's not super original. I know other people have done it, but it might be fun to get outside my comfort zone. I would say I don't do an Australian necessarily style I don't think, because Australian makeup trends, depending on where you live and all that kind of stuff. I live on a coast, I grew up on a coastal um, city like the Gold Coast and like even Brisbane, Queensland has that kind of beachy vibe to it. So people are generally less makeup vibes here from my experience, you know, obviously each their own. It's not like a stock one best way. Um, I would say Australia is like that bronzy kind of makeup look vibe, whereas I guess I kind of do that too. I don't know. I just do whatever I want. Refer 14. Now we're going to subscribe, which is also gorgeous. And again, if you have like fair to light, medium to deep, deep dark, one and done, like Glaminatrix has nailed it. Didn't expect any less. Yeah, but let me know. That could be fun. Cause I know like the French, for example, they have a very no makeup type look a lot of the time from what I've seen, um, which is just so not my vibe. Yeah, let me know. Be interested. In the Middle East, like if you're from Dubai or that kind of area, I guess, Middle East, what's the makeup style like there? I don't think I know that like, is it like, I feel like eyes would be really accentuated there, right? Like I always think of like beautiful, stunning winged liners for some reason when I think of Middle Eastern type makeup, but again, could be completely wrong. Apologies, I'm not meaning to offend anyone with any of those statements. Um, I'm just going back into the Refer 16 with no extra color, just to softly buff that. I'll leave that there for now, and if I want to go any deeper, I will use Haul. Actually, no, let's just use Haul, why not? I'm gonna take this What's Up R108 and go into the dark green because we should just use as many shades as we can, right? And I'm just going to keep this concentrated to the outer corner here. 
Oh, that's a pretty shade. Oh, I like that shade. I'm just going to keep it to here. I find if I can deepen this part up here, it lifts my little down turned always. Yes, let me know in the comments if you're going to pick this palette up. I really think it's... Oh, spoiler alert, it's worth the pick up, I think. It's stunning. I've had so much fun creating looks with this. Intensifies. This is from Pat McGrath Labs, this Intensify stick, by the way, if you are wondering. Sometimes I get, like, you know, we get new people to the channel, which if you're new, welcome. Um, hopefully you like to stick around. But yeah, this is Pat Intensifies. I've used it ever since she dropped it, and I swear by it. I want to amp it up a little bit today, so I'm actually just going to take this one engagement on my finger. I think this is going to be pretty amazing. <gasps> Look at that. That is stunning. We're going to do a similar look to look one, just so that we can like, you know, really see how these shadows work. I did a softer look yesterday, so hopefully you liked that one. I actually got a lot of compliments. I went to the, um, I was actually going down the Gold Coast, I think I said it, I can't remember, to babysit my mum's pets for the day and just work from down there. And I went to the coffee shop down there to grab a coffee and stuff, and I got like quite a few compliments on that makeup look, which was nice. Oh, that's... Every palette, I swear, Glaminatrix just gets, like, makes it more amazing and that's just stunning in my opinion. I'm going to take Get Ready With Me right here. Uh, I'll take it with the R110 from What's Up and tuck that in here. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Oh, my goodness. That's, like, such a forestry type green. That shift is really nice. Wow. Oh, my gosh. These remind me so much of the clear and white shadows that, like, shift. I think I like these more though. I'd need to do well actually no I, I do like these more. I think because I love this formula. Look at that. Wow. My goodness. Oh. Love. Love love love. I'm just gonna go back into engagement a little bit and just tap that in here just to bring a little bit of that back. Mm. You guys obsessed obsessed. I'm just taking that What's Up R108 again and going into Hall, which is the very dark green. I'll just marry like we always do. And again, like if you want to go softer, just skip any of the steps that you wish to skip. Let's go ahead and do the speed through of my base makeup. I have time today, so we will do highlight and blush together as well today.
we have bronze up, brows, all that done, you know the deal. Let's do lower lash line. Sigma E36 and we will go into scrunchie, you know the deal. I really do the same thing in every look for my lower lash line pretty much, just with different colors. Little pencil brush and we'll go into a little bit of haul. And then pencil brush will go into Girl Dinner for the inner corner like I've been doing for all the looks. You can obviously use any shade you wish, I just like this one. Bobbi Brown Jungle on my top waterline. And let's go Swede Grayish, Mink Grayish I think it is on the lower. And just a little of my Gucci mascara. For liquid highlight, I'm going to take my Lisa Eldridge Crystal Nebula because I'm so close to finishing this and I really, I've never finished, oh, I have finished one liquid highlighter before, but other than that, I haven't, so I'm like, I want to finish it up. And also it's amazing, like, I'm just going to repurchase it, but at least I've finished it, you know? And then for powder highlight, I'm going to take the gold out of this one. The more I use these little Chanel duos, the more I really like them. I have a review of these on my channel if you haven't seen it. It's just a My Keep Code Danessa MY7 fan brush. I've also gone quite like full coverage and everything with the foundation. So if you wanted to create just a really like a lot of a softer look, I would do a more light coverage foundation. And then, like I said, do the fairy dusting and stuff over the eyes instead of it being so intense. Um, and that's going to like completely change the look for you as well. I'm going to take Lavish from Glaminatrix um, for my cream blush because it's look how gorgeous it is. It looks intimidating. It, it will go on fine. Trust me. See? Oh. I keep saying these are slept on for Lemonatrix. We're going to take the powder blush out of this duo from Chanel. I'm just going to take it with a Rafa 5. Just lightly set this. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray today. I want to keep lips pretty soft because the eyes are so bold. So I'm going to take Raban Hang Up. Just one of my faves. See that? Absolutely stunning. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the Lisa Sculpt lip liner. This is 1N. Just to lightly define it. I'm really liking that. All right, let me go, you know, do the things, we'll zoom out and see, finish look three. All right, my friends, finish look three, what do you think? Listen, I'm loving it, I really am. What do you think? Again, um, I did talk about some ways that you can really create this as a more softer, more natural look, if that's what you are preferring. Um, I've been doing a lot of softer looks lately, so I really just wanted to, to do the glam for today. So hopefully you like it. Um, I'm loving this palette. We have one more look left, so let's get into it. Welcome to the fourth and final look. Today we have the kind of warm tone pumpkin-y section left to do. I'm pretty excited about this section actually because I think this is very, very cute. Now I've primed my lids already using the Hourglass Primer. The first shade I'm actually going to dip into is Pumpkin Spice here and I'm going to take it on a Refa 33. I'm actually going to basically pop this all over the lid like a one and done kind of shadow to begin with. So I'm just going to pack it, start by packing it all towards the lash line. That is very pretty, aptly named Pumpkin Spice. I'm just going to start by kind of blending this all over as well. Oh, that's pretty. What do you guys think? What's your favorite color story in this palette? I mean, you can obviously mix and match them all as well. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Perfect for fall, autumn. Then I'm going to pick up this refer number one and we're going to go into a little bit of comment here. 
and I'm just going to use that to deepen through the crease just slightly in here, just ever so soft. And a little bit on the outer corner here. Still taking my Pat Intensify stick and I'm just going to just dab that over the lid a little bit, like so. And I'm going to take a Sonia G Builder Pro and we're going to go into Viral. And I'm picking it up with the brush because I don't want it to be too intense of opaqueness today. And I'm going to tap that. I'm going to leave just the inner, inner bit here free but I'm going to tap this like a fairy dusting over the lid. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. If you wanted to, you could build that up really quite opaque as well and it would look absolutely stunning. It really would. Then the R110 from What's Up, I'm going to go into FYP here and pop that on the inner corner or like the inner part not the inner inner corner like this bit right here oh that's really cool too that all over the lid would look absolutely stunning in fact i'm actually just gonna tap some of that over the lid too because it's just too pretty not to oh i like that a lot a lot a lot look mm. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to take a Lisa Eldridge Coffee um, liner and just kind of smudge that across the lash line here a little bit. And then I've just got this like flat kind of brush like this. And I'm just going to flick upwards to like smoke it out a little bit, especially more towards the outer corner there to add some dimension to that lash line. Nice. I like that. Obviously don't tug your eyes, do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> I like that. I think that just adds a little something. Nice. And then I'll just put that in my top waterline while I'm here too. I love that and that was so quick and easy. Okay. Uh, you know the deal. Speed through up until bronzer and then I'll come back with brows on and we'll do finish the eyes and the rest of the look. So, let's do it. Thank you. 
Let's take my Sigma E36 and go into Pumpkin Spice. We will run that along the lower lash line and then I will also get just a little pencil brush and take a little bit of comment and kind of smudge that under there as well like normal. I did also put just a little bit of the Victoria Beckham eye brightener on my lower waterline by the way. And then we'll take girl dinner again with the Sonia G pencil brush for the inner corner. A little bit of my Gucci mascara. I am determined to finish this thing. <laughs> the eyes oh I like them I think they are absolutely gorgeous for liquid highlight we're gonna take the refi topaz gloss highlighter I'm really hoping the new refi products that launched come today so that I can start testing them and then do my full face for refi review oh yeah that's so pretty if you like the Vive Skin Do or you've been wanting to try something like the Vive Skin Do but you don't want to do the, like you can't get Vive easy, try this Refi one. It's honestly same, same and beautiful. And then I'll set that with a little bit of the uh, Sunstone House Labs highlighter with my Danessa Myricks little fan brush. For cream blush, I'm actually going to mix Sunny and uh, I'm going to use mainly Sunny from Gumanatrix and just a touch of Lavish because Sunny is quite a bright coral. Um, see that? And I just want to dull that down just a touch. So I'm just going to mix in a smidge of Lavish to create like that. Perfect. I'm never going to stop saying run, don't walk for these Gumanatrix cheap products. You can use them on your lips too if you want, but they're phenomenal. This makeup look is making me so happy, I'm not gonna lie. It's really coming together so, so lovely. And then I'm gonna set that with a touch of the Hourglass Dim Infusion Blush. And my Benefit Setting Spray. We've got lips and in very exciting news, you guys are going to test these with me for the first time. So this is the new Fenty Beauty lip liner. I got the shade, great question, peanut butter. I mean, what a name, peanut butter. That's the lip liner shade. So let's line the lips. Oh, it's very creamy. It just like kind of knocked off. There you go. Let's just try this. Oh, that's a cool shade. Very creamy. And then I got the Gloss Bomb Sticks in Fenty Glow, which I love the packaging. I mean, Fenty's packaging, they always just, they nail it, right? And then let me swatch. Oh yeah, this is a good color. Let's see. That's a one of beautiful shade. Look at that shade. It feels like a thicker version of the gloss on the lips and it smells like that too it has the same smell as the gloss i'm gonna be interested if this is as hydrating on the lips as what the gloss is i might be, this might be my new fave because i actually love the fenty gloss bombs especially you know i've been raving about the lip oil but one issue that i do have with the gloss bombs and i don't know if it's just a me thing or what it could very well be but i always find that they leak um, so I can't put them in my handbag or anything and if I do I have to be careful so if this is like as hydrating but more pigmented than a gloss bomb that's kind of phenomenal because I can just throw them in my handbag everywhere and they look stunning it's like perfect combo right okay let me go do my hair and we will zoom out and we will wrap this video up all right my friends fourth and final look what do you guys think I really love this look I really love this look but I really have loved all of these looks in my personal humble opinion I've loved them all. So I don't know. Let me know what your favorite is. <sighs> Listen, personally for me, this is a run, don't walk palette. I just think Glaminatrix have nailed it, especially in a time where I know so many of you like me, like we came to an agreement of love on this channel through like say Pat McGrath Lab special shades, for example. And like 
oomph fancy wham bam metallic shadows. We love a glitter around here or a sparkle. These are spectacular. They're amazing, <laughs> truly. And the way that you can like apply them with your finger to be like opaque and intense and molten and delicious or with a brush to just put like a little fairy dusting and these kind of like shifty ones here. And then just this matte, the colors of matte selection here. I personally just think Lemonatrix has nailed it. I really do. I love this. I hope it's going to be a permanent palette for them because I think this this is something special. Just a friendly reminder, <laughs> this isn't sponsored by them. I do love the brand dearly though, but they did send me the palette for free. Um, if you want to grab the palette, description box down below and you can use the code Martina Lily for 10% off, should you wish. But yeah, let me know. What are you thinking? Are you thinking of picking this palette up? Thank you so much. If you're watching till this point, you know you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you. Extra special shout out to my Lily absolute legends. Thank you for supporting my channel as well as all of my other members. And I just hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.